Hey everyone, uh, this is Giorgio, and uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to access the Android SDK from WinDev Mobile. Um, just for time's sake, I'm going to show how to uh, check if the Bluetooth is enabled on the device, or even if there is one. And uh, in tutorials to come, uh, I'm going to show how to uh, get paired devices, previously paired devices, um, all within WinDev. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, create a project, and I'm going to call it uh, WD Bluetooth. Uh, Android application. Uh, this is pretty important here. Uh, the directory of the Android SDK should be specified here, and uh, you should have it installed on your computer as well. Uh, we're developing for a phone, and I'm going to keep the default screen resolution. Anything else I'm going to pretty much answer uh, no to. So while uh, Windows sets up its environment, I am going to create a new window. And I'm going to use wizard for blank. Uh, use a maximize screen. and I like using uh, menus uh, usually on uh, whenever I'm developing Android apps. Call this one main, and I'm just going to title it WD Bluetooth. Alright, so let me save this. Alright, so um, basically what I'm going to do is check if there is uh, Bluetooth hardware on the phone. Uh, if it's enabled. So I'm going to create a button on click listener and uh, call it check Bluetooth status. I'm going to call it check status. Make it bigger. I'm going to align it horizontally and I'm also going to make sure I anchor it just in case the, uh, the user winds up flipping to landscape mode. So, uh, basically what's got to happen here is when the uh, user clicks this button, uh, a couple of things have to happen. Uh, because there is uh, no commands um, for hardware accessibility or even scanning through like the phone's contact list, um, you could do it through Java code. So I'm going to create a new global procedure. And I'm going to call this uh, check enabled. And uh, in order to make this Java code, I'm going to take out this little, uh, I'm going to click the WL, and it will create a method for us. So now, in order for us to access the Android SDK, we have to import some packages, which I've already pasted in. Not sure if I need the widget just yet, uh, because uh, you know declaring certain packages and um, so on and so forth, it could get expensive on the uh, on the CPU of the phone. Uh, sh you should code minimally as possible. So uh, I need this to return something back. So it's going to be a uh, I'm going to return back a boolean statement. So it's going to be true or false. So it's coming back here. Alright, and by the way, all these uh, packages here, you can always find out what you need by just going to the SDK online at developer.android. And it will pretty much, that is your roadmap for what you need to do. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is declare an object. accessing Bluetooth functions on Android, usually this is the very first thing you're doing is get default adapter. Okay. Now that I have default adapter, uh, this is actually a string that comes back. Uh, I could actually say here if bt adapter is null. Well, I'll take that out. If it is null, I could return Otherwise, I'm going to return the object that is enabled. And I'm going to save that. And that's it. That'll tell me exactly uh, if the um, 
this if it comes here it's going to return you know if it falls through here that means there's nothing on the phone otherwise it's going to return back true or false if it's enabled or not I could actually return the the adapter name but um, just for time's sake uh, this is just uh, I'm just going to see if it's enabled at this point now in order to link this to this button really simple if check enable equals true that's it actually you should use the next title uh, because there is a uh, when you have messages that pop up on the Android phone there's a title and then there's text there should always be something there Otherwise, else. There's no Bluetooth. Or okay, we got three minutes left here, so. And uh, that's it. Now, bad thing here is you can't use uh, Windev's AVD when you're working with uh, Java code. Uh, basically bef because what will happen is if I hit go and I check this it's going to fail out on an error. So uh, what I do is I create the package. So I'm going to create the setup executable and that will also, this uh, action over here will also check to make sure that the uh, Java code is correct, that all of my syntax is correct. So uh, I'm just gonna. The name is gonna be WD Bluetooth. Uh, of course, fill this in as you see fit. This is important uh, because Android has its own manifest, which is the Android manifest.xml file. Uh, you have to um, give. Pr you have to. The user has to allow certain options on a phone. Um, so, otherwise, also the phone will fail. So we have to have Bluetooth admin, and we should have Bluetooth the communication. And again, this is all on the uh, developer section on the Android SDK. Uh, another important thing I found: if I'm developing 1.5, which I think is Cupcake, uh, if I create an APK for platform 1.5, the screen resolution isn't right. It's just it's really um, not right. So I'm using Android 2.1. Uh, hopefully there'll be a 2.2 support for Froyo. Uh, so just do Android 2.1. I believe almost every phone is running that uh, version right now. And uh, if I want to, I can copy it on the device, and that's the best way to test it. Uh, I have two Android phones. I have one that's not rooted and one that is, and uh, I test on both. So I'm just going to so this is actually how it works, and it takes a second because it is a, uh, you know, it, it's a, it's pretty cool what WinDev does do. I mean, if you were do if you were programming this in Eclipse, uh, just to set up a button, you know, is is um, it, it, it's a lot of work because you have to set up an on-click listener within your main dot, within your uh, your main class. Um, Whereas here, you just create your window, put a button, and then you just have to worry about the Java code. So, uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show how to uh, find any uh, previously uh, paired devices on the phone. And, um, and that's about it. And I think my time's running out here. So, if it gets at this point, I find 76%, it's uh, the Java code's passed, and we're good to go. So, um, try this out and I will probably post the code to 